Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and today is a basher stash video with the feature or the focus on using ribbon. Now, I don't know about you, but over the last few years, I found that I have used ribbon less often than say 10 years ago. So this was a great opportunity to pull some ribbon out of my stash, of which I have plenty, and see if I can come up with new ways to use ribbon. So the first card that I'm going to show you is not really anything new, to be honest. It's a gatefold card, and I used the ribbon to form the band around the card. Um, I added this little metallic charm with some of the paper and a little gold heart. Now the papers that I used for most of these cards came from a page kit that I had made from the Bloom de Fleur paper pad which recently went up. So I will link that above so you can see what I was working with when I came up with these cards. So the belly band, of course, would just slide off. And then when you open it up, I also have it so that it opens up this way. And I just used one of the three by four cards to kind of put the sentiment inside of it. And then I have enough space to sign my name. If I want to add a more personal note, I can always add a lighter piece of paper over top of this and then add my comments. I didn't want to put anything on the front because I used vellum and I didn't want it to be too distracting. The next four cards are also made from the Bloom de Fleur kit. And for these ones, I created a slider card with the ribbon. And so the idea behind these is that you pull up, you can write your message in here, and then it slides down. So this is actually a top pull, as is this one. This is the same three by four card that I used in the gatefold. This one is a side pull. Again, this is a four by six card that was included in the paper pad. And then the last one features, this isn't quite a three by four card, but it is part of the cut aparts. Included in that paper pad was also some acetate, a printed acetate sheet. And so I thought it would be fun to make a card base out of that. And you can see here's the acetate. Um, similar to the gatefold, I have it pull up and then flip out so that I can leave the message inside. And I made sure to cover the back so that you don't see any of the adhesive. And of course, the ribbon comes into play along the top. So that was the first one. And this is the second one. This one, I actually put it on top of pattern paper, but it's generally the same idea. I added a few little um, enamel dots to finish these. And I really like how these ones turned out. They're kind of fun. Okay, so the last three cards, I really challenged myself. I was like, what can I do that I've never done with ribbon before? And the idea came to my mind, weaving. And so what you will see here is what I came up with. So this one here, I have placed on a purple backing and it's a very loose weave, but you can see the purple backing through the holes. The die that I used to cut the oval also came with a scalloped frame. I just pulled this from my scraps. This die cut's from Pretty Little Studio. I think that's the name. They have some vintage die cut collections or vintage die cut packs, which are really cute. And that's where these florals came from. And then I had in my flat stickers, I had the sentiment that says, I love you. This is all raised on foam dot or foam tape and then it just is top folding. So that was the first one. So for this one, it's a similar concept to the oval, only I used a heart and I used some gingham striped ribbon. I spread this one even further apart, so made the weave even looser. The butterflies are actually from the Dollar Tree and the flowers are from that same die cut pack. And then I thought, wouldn't it be fun if I did a tighter weave? And that's what you see here. Um, this is a really tight woven. This is done with grow grain. The die cuts from Felicity Jane. Those butterflies are from the Dollar Tree. And again, this is all on foam tape on a pink card. 
So that's what I came up with for ribbon for this month's challenge. I hope you are inspired and maybe give some of the ideas a try. If you would like me to do a video showing you how I came up with these, leave a comment below and I can try and work that into the schedule. As this is part of the Bash Our Stash uh, collaboration, be sure to check out all the collaborators below and stay tuned for next month on the 7th for the next installment which I believe we're going to be using kits. So if you haven't already be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell and until next time happy crafting.